Please stand. Face the flag. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Bears! The weather may be cold and rainy today and for the next several days, but we are here with school news, and coming up, we have a look back at CTE Day and more. I'm Aiden Robertson. And I'm Brandon Robertson. Today is Thursday, February 23rd, and Good Morning John Burroughs starts right now. Welcome back. Several programs are holding informational meetings this week. First up, Link Crew is looking for leaders next year. If you are a 10th or 11th grader and interested in applying, come to the informational meeting today at lunch in the small gym. You can also join the applicant Google Classroom with the QR code. ASB is also looking for new leaders on campus who want to join ASB next year. Come to the library today at lunch for a meeting about ASB and student leadership here at Burroughs. Now moving over to our yearbook, this year is the 75th anniversary of our yearbook, Aquila. So don't miss out on ordering one. Yearbook pre-sale orders end on March 1st, either online or in person at the student store. After March 1st, students will only be able to purchase a yearbook in May with cash only. Last year, they sold out of yearbooks, and it is not a guarantee that you can purchase one in May, so pre-order yours today. Do you want to be part of the team that makes Aquila every year? Your book is holding an informational meeting this Friday for students in interested in joining the staff next year. If you are interested in designing, writing, or photography, come by room 2113 tomorrow at lunch. You can also join the yearbook Google Classroom with the code on screen. Applications are open tomorrow and are required. Moving over to senior news, if you still need help on your FSA ID and application, Come over to room 1207 today during AE for a workshop. Remember, this is a graduation requirement and time is running out, so here's more. Hey seniors, today in room 1207 during AE, the college peer mentors are hosting a FAFSA workshop. So if you haven't gotten it done yet, you want to make sure you turn your FAFSA email confirmation into your counselors if you want to get off the off-grad list so you can walk in May. The FAFSA is super important because it gives you access to two free years of community college and or access to scholarships and different grants and loans that you can qualify for. We know that it's annoying. So, you know, we've been working with the college peer mentors. They're really great at helping you get started so that you can complete the requirement. In club news, the Environmental Cleanup Club meets today at lunch in room 1228 to plan their next nature walk. Latinos Unidos is also meeting tomorrow at lunch in room 1213. Last week, students had the opportunity to check out future careers in local colleges. Here's Sydney with more on the event. Last Wednesday was CTE Day, a day for students to explore different career paths. This event is organized yearly by our CTE counselor, Diana Dyson. Just a way for students to see all the opportunities available to them and careers that are high growing and in demand that may not require a four-year degree and the training that's required. With an array of representatives, students have the opportunity to learn more about different colleges and careers that they may not have considered. Yeah, CT Day is really useful. You find a lot about careers that you don't have any idea about. Yeah, it shows you how um, there's actually decent salaries for starting positions even for 18-year-olds. Though most find CTE Day useful for expanding their career options, some want more industries represented at CTE Day. The three things I want to do, like, none of these places offer that. So I think, you know, that they should, like, expand maybe more their choices, you know. Regardless of what career field students are considering, Counselor Mr. Hong still encourages students to speak to the different representatives. What students should do is talk to the representatives. Some of them are people who actually work in those areas. So that way the students can learn firsthand about the in and outs of those jobs and how to get those jobs. So yeah, so that's a good way for students to learn more about those occupations that they have an interest in. If you are looking for opportunities to get industry experience while still in high school, check out our CTE Pathways on campus. For GMJB, I'm Cindy Avila reporting. 
Now, looking forward to this weekend, VMA is holding their annual pop show performance. There will be an assembly tomorrow for students to get a sneak peek, but the full show will debut tomorrow night. Shows are Friday and Saturday at 7 p.m. and Sunday on 2 p.m. Tickets are now on sale on the VMA website. ASB is only looking for students to join next year. They are looking for fee uh, they are also looking for feedback. Scan the QR code to leave your feedback so that ASB can make next semester better than ever. Well, that's all for today's show, Bears. Tune in tomorrow for more school news. I'm Brandon Robertson. And I'm Aiden Robertson. Have a great day.